Professor Ellis, it's an absolute honour to meet you in person. My pleasure. <laughs> I still have your books from when I was a, a year one undergraduate student. I uh, qualified uh, in June. I went on holiday, came back after my holiday, started in the health service. So I've been in it since, since the world go. The only thing that happened was, under the health service, our pay doubled. From a pound a week, it went up to two pounds a week, which wow. was a lot of money in those days. How has the health service changed since you've worked in it? They got the finances completely wrong. The original idea was, as we get the country fit, it'll cost less money. People won't fall ill. Not realising that making the country fit, there were going to be all these old age pensioners requiring all sorts of hip replacements and everything else, that in fact the, the cost of the health service was going to rise and rise and rise. The consultants and the GPs absolutely opposed the health service because of the, the financial implications, you see. They thought, you know, we're going to starve. So for them it was a revolution. And of course, as Honorian Bevan said so brilliantly, I stuffed their mouths with gold. That's how you learn medicine. You remember that patient. But we were much more paternalistic then, weren't we? Yes, cancer was, was never mentioned. You say, well, you've got a nasty lump in the breast here, we'd better, better, better remove it for you. And now we're much, much more open yes. about telling the patients what their diagnosis is. We have an entire team when we um, give bad news, such as cancer, and there's a huge support network. And I think medicine has changed in that way. There were diseases which are now curable, which were then awful. We never, we weren't allowed to mention tuberculosis when I was a student. So that meant two, three, four years in the sanatorium. The problem is we have no control on what information is Absolutely. on the web. It never happened. Patients never said, I've read, I've read this up in a, in, in a book. There's good information yes. and perhaps less appropriate information. Yes. For better or for worse, uh, the surgeon's word was accepted. We've had to really focus the training. But this idea off. of 12 hour shift without a break, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's physiologically wrong. So that's got to change. I think when I was a junior doctor, although we did longer hours, the intensity was different. Exactly. So now our intensity is much higher. Now they haven't even got a common room to sit down in, in mm. most places. Mm. Well, we do have a mess, fortunately, at King's College. They're really Hospital, which they wonderful. <laughs> if I was young, I could try and get a job here.